The other, one other concept that's part that's tied in with being a fundamentalist, and according to the definition from Wikipedia, is that there's a return to a previous ideal from which people have strayed. Right? That hey, this used to be taught. This is the old way of doing things, and people have just wandered off the path. So we need to bring it back and ratchet it back. It's taught in Scripture, Jeremiah chapter six, verse number thirteen. The Bible reads, "For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness, and from the prophet." Even unto the priest, everyone dealeth falsely. And, you know, when I read Jeremiah and I read about these false preachers and these false prophets, it's like, I feel like this is just happening today. Like, we could just very easily be in the days of Jeremiah. When you read through Jeremiah and you're seeing what these false prophets are saying and everyone just, oh, peace be all, everything's good, brother, it's great, you know. No one's preaching on sin. Like, Joel Osteen would have been great back in the days of Jeremiah. I mean, he, I mean, he's already doing great. That's why I think it's like the same time. He's doing so great financially and everything else in this world now. Man, he, he'd be just as good back then, if not better. We start reading this. Why? It says, because everyone's given a covetousness. You're talking about covetousness. Talk about the guy who's, who's, you know, living the dream with his million, millionaire, billionaire, whatever, mansions and everything else that he's doing it's all about the love of money for him uh, from the prophet even unto the priest everyone dealeth falsely verse number 14 they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace so it says they've healed the hurt slightly why because people are hurting and you're saying oh no no it's everything's gonna be okay it's fine. there's a little there's a small degree of comfort just hearing someone say everything's gonna be fine but you know what? it's only slightly because it's it's a false feeling because it's not really going to be okay when people tell you, oh, everything's going to be okay, you may feel a little bit comforted, but in the end, you're not going to be comforted because in the end, it was just a lie. Like, where's the peace? It felt good for a very short period of time when I believed in that lie. But when the end actually comes, you would have rather that he told you the truth so you could prepare yourself in, in other than just thinking, oh, it's all going to be fine. Verse 15, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Again, talk about the, the day that we live in today. There's people committing abominable acts every day and have no shame. And you know what? Not only are they not ashamed, they're proud. They glory in their shame. They're going out and boasting about it and trying to cram it down your throat and cram it down my throat and say, you need to tolerate us, you need to accept us, and that's going to be not enough for them. They say, you need to promote us. And they won't stop at nothing until you do. They weren't ashamed. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. Their end is coming, too, by the way. You don't need to worry about, about the trouble they're causing now. They've got their end. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. So the Lord is working through Jeremiah here saying, hey, look, the old way, that old path, that old way that was given to you by Moses, that old way that was already delivered unto you, that's the right way. You've strayed real far. You're committing abominations. You know what? That's still true today. The old way, that old path, this old book still holds the truth. It's still right hasn't changed that's the right way and yes fundamentalists are going to go back to these old paths fundamentalists isn't fundamentalists because you just think that oh you know things were better in the 40s and the 50s or something like that no we're talking way older than that <laughs> 40s and 50s had their own now it may have been comparatively better than today overall but you know what there's still a lot of problems in the 40s and 50s in the united states of america we're talking going way back really old school, to the ways that the Lord has given on righteousness.